here. And now they will go for the Frederick, which is, I guess, <laughs> that's the next best thing if they group up together. But in the laning phase, I have to I have to agree that the Leslie's gonna have a, might have a hard time mm. uh, if he gets cons constantly ganked. Yeah, um, you, you can use the BMI. You're, the BMI will not get the Leslie out of uh, out of her camouflage. But what that will allow is just give a little bit more vision in the shrubs, yeah. which most Leslies actually want to stay in, right? Because you want to maximize the the passive that you passive. get, the improved basic attack. So if Super Marco plays his cards right. He should be have an okay time. If he doesn't play his cards right, though, this Leslie might just be able to quickly scale up. It's hard because what I see happening here is a lot of poke. Uh, a lot of poke coming out from that Leslie. And yeah, you're right. If Super Marco doesn't play around that right, he's going to have a similar situation from what he had in game one and game two. It's going to be a strug. It's going to be a strug and a half. So we saw the team compositions. This could very well possibly be the last game here between these two teams, Smart Omega and Bren Esports, it's match point. So get ready because this is going to be a great game ahead of us as we jump into the land of dawn. All right, so will we see Yu Zhang's 100% win rate fall off here? Or will we see Leslie's 100% pop off in this game? <laughs> First the game. win rates, man, the win rates. They matter. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's a weapons master there. Uh, for that Leslie, Ice Retribution picked up there by Kyle Teasy. So they're going to want to maximize the slow and the potential chases. And for Bren Esports, Pandora, debut game as the Yu Zhong for this season. So it's not a new hero that we haven't seen this season, but it's still something new for Bren. That is true. So, I'm, and, and again, Bren Esports actually played Yu Zhang a lot previously mm -hmm. in, um, you know, in the world. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm not saying that the players know it. I'm just saying that Ducky knows how good that hero can be in yeah. the right hands. And maybe this is my idea. Oh, there you oh. go. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is, it's not even gang, gang time yet. So what's yeah. happening? <laughs> yeah, good poke. I mean, early on. But uh, so I would love to see Bren actually put some pressure on the bottom side, right? And and just, again, allow Super Marco to have a better time there. Yeah, even if he's just farming that lane, he could use a little bit of attention just to see how it works, how it plays out. Also kind of force Kelra in a, in a more pressurous situation, right? So, I mean, right now in that matchup, Super Marco is kind of coming out on top a little bit, but it's all going to matter how that objectives, the objectives play oh, out here oh. for the first one. But oh, put the camera on the bottom. <laughs> I yeah, to I was going to say, <laughs> camera got quite low, but so did Super Marco. Yeah, Super Marco was doing a bit of a sidestep as well, maybe dodging some of those hits and playing around with the vision on that bush. So <laughs> really would want to see how that happened. But for the meantime, it will be Kelra pushing back Super Marco and the rest of Brandy Sports still up on the turtle. If you have good vision, Ryzen actually yep. is not level four yet. So yep. this will be a sure Bren turtle. Yeah, free turtle there for Bren Esports. Great rotations by the side of Bren. Uh, they were able to get a few camps out of the side of Ryzen. I believe it was the Fire Beetle that they were able to steal away. Hence why Ryzen wasn't able to hit level four yet. Yeah, good, good manipulation of the experience there. I yeah, securing so that so I mean this is a great start for Bren Esports, right? Uh, exactly what they need here. They're slowly building a little bit of a gold lead too. Again, as soon as you have that way of dragon available for you on Ogwin here, he could possibly find a pick. Exactly what they need. Few also trying to make his way down. This is what I'm saying, right? If Bren just spends a little bit time on the bottom side, it'll allow Super Marco to have a better time. And then also, again, the big question mark is exactly this Leslie pick since it's the first time we're going to be seeing it and how it all plays out here. But look at that, right? Just how easy it is to go ahead and safely clear that lane of minions, farm up, and then join the team. Yeah, you know, there was a small interaction uh, away from our screens earlier. Renjo just used his ultimate onto Pen. Oh, what I thought! Woo! Ogwen with the first blood here with the help of you, obviously, and the rest of Brand Esports. Super Marco also around in the mid lane. So I think they will go for those uh, out of turn energy shields here. Yeah. That's big gold going over to Brand Esports, if ever. Oh, Kellero tried to steal <laughs> away the lizard, but nope. Yeah. Actually, just unleashed that a little bit for Bren Esports. All right. Outside, uh, as I was mentioning earlier, uh, Renjo actually got to take away like 35% of Pandora's health with a single Appraiser's Wrath. 
So we really have to watch out for that, Frederick, in the latter parts of the match. Here comes Chaknu. Ooh, Chaknu flying in here. Actually has the flicker out oh, oh. of the way right, with Bren doing good, good, doing good damage, actually, right now. Open oh, low. Flickers in with a way of Dragon, forcing back Ryzen, uh -oh. but will still be picked up by the jungle of Omega. Ooh, turn around there for Smart Omega. Look bad. For uh for them initially, but then Brandy Sports uh, just caught out uh looked like a a bait play by Omega. Yeah, it really did look like it. You see how much pressure Brand was putting in that bottom lane though, right? And they were they it looked almost like they could have converted that into something, but unfortunately it was spotted out. And then the response from Smart Omega, they're still holding on to that little bit of a gold lead they have. This is going to be the next second turtle of the game. Let's see if they can actually claim this one. But this time around, Smart Omega actually wants to contest it. Yeah, trying to go for the contest. Ryzen's not anywhere in division. He will not try to go for the fight. Renzio oh. is actually low. No cast whatsoever from the Frederin means he will go down. The Dragon working well right now for Brand, but Ryzen might be able to pick off Pandora topside. You see the health of Pandora going down. There you go. Something working out for Omega in the end. Gold lead is substantial, actually, for Red Esports at 1.67k, actually. Yeah, I think a lot of, again, the farming capabilities of Bren is really good, right? So if they can keep it up, even if they give away, you know, a couple of kills here and there, they should be able to maintain this little bit of lead and then build off of that. Again, a lot of this is going to also come down to Ogwin. Can he find the picks that he's looking for with this way of the dragon? And Few is doing a good job at really setting perimeter around these even minor objectives, right? So they're playing around that. Super Marco's going from the bottom lane up to the mid, farming as much as he can because, again, that's going to be crucial for those team fights later on. Yeah, what's working out here is uh -oh. Chak Nu, who seemed to be having a harder time on this Matilda uh, right now, just keeping Killer alive. Yeah, it's like Brandy Sports or Ogwen is telling Chak Nu, now you know how I feel from <laughs> game one. <laughs> feel my pain, Chak Nu. Feel my pain. Uh, you don't have the Grog anymore. <laughs> you don't have the Grog. You don't have the Atlas. Ogwen right now is just like, okay, I, I feel like I can breathe now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at these points, at least Brent can do something about Chaknu going in their faces, Ooh. not just like letting him do whatever he wants, oh. which is exactly what he's doing anyway with the uh, small threat of aggression for yes. Omega. I thought they were going to do something, but no, they did. They're using the ultimate snipe yeah. of the Leslie for vision. Vision, yeah. I mean, uh, of course you want to see it used for damage, but it's still a great utility tool to use it for vision like that, and it's helping Omega control themselves, but Omega might be able to find Whoa, a win here. Oh, look at that burst damage from Ryzen. He's actually giving some pretty good uh, threat Whoa, here in this oh, fight. Oh, the Dragon! Way Dragon in the middle of everything. Appraisal Graph hitting air. Antomax goes down. Chaklu's flying. Kaka in the middle oh, of everything. Oh, Kelra! Kelra forced out of position here by Bren Esports. He flickered in the wall. <laughs> so that could have been bad, but uh, you know, luckily for him, he's able to get away. Mm -hmm. Pandora is the one that falls and goes down, and Etu Max do. They're still going to be fighting for the turtle, though. Yeah, Ooh. it's advantage for them. Feud doesn't have his feathered airstrike, and he's in the mid lane having to clear waves. Omega might be able to take this turtle away from them. Renzo with the taunt, not really having much of a answer from the rest of his teammates. Looks like Bryce is going to be able to make it. No! What? Rise and steals it away from downtown. Wow. Ryzen right at the edge of his retribution range, somehow able to steal the turtle away under the nose of Bren Esports. Wow. This is, so this is a sticky situation for Bren, right? Because yes, they have this gold lead, but as you just saw, Malefic Roar picked up by Ryzen. He's three and oh, right? Packing, he's literally packing a punch. And then at the same time, you have Kelra. Kelra hasn't really had, I mean, he hasn't had the most difficult time. There's been a little bit of attention towards him, mm -hmm. but he's farming up pretty well. He has the Berserker's Fury. He's got the items that he needs. So you can actually see the numbers starting to show. So Bren Esports really needs to focus on getting those key targets down and also shutting down Ryzen because that's what we're seeing really work for their favor for Smart. But Bren still in kind of control. Yep. They've got to be careful, Yo. though. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right, there you go. If older Omega, uh, when they were still Execration and in Season 8, had K&K, Kelra and Kel VJ, Smart Omega, we're seeing a, a potential big combo here in the R&R. &R. Ryzen and Renjo together with a burst damage they can dish out. It's going to be a big problem. Okay. Ryzen just saw his life flash before <laughs> his eyes. <laughs> you know what the funniest part about this? We haven't even seen Kelra do anything yet. Yeah. <laughs> so. he, he's just uh, farming up, trying he's to stay alive here. He's playing like a sniper. 
what a sniper needs to do. That is true. Hide in, hide in the bushes, you know, wait for your opportunity to strike. And it looks like Omega, they're circling. Good damage off on to Itomax there. He was fed oh. an airstrike. They got some damage. Kalzi, uh -oh, he's actually, no. he's hurting. He's hurting a lot. Certainly eagled by Chaknu. Oh. Kicked back by Oakwood. He gets taken out by Kalzi. Looks like that will be a good answer for Brent Esports. They are punching back. Oh, and the vision popped off again. So Omega will uh, go back there. Great adjustment there by Brent Esports. Kyle Tz almost get bursted down. But again, that is the power of a Karina tank build uh, with the with the jungle emblem, with tank items, and the fact that he can just use the Shadow Dance to be able to avoid basic attacks. Power of a Karina, but he's going to want to minimize doing that uh, throughout this game, Lord Fight. Yeah, we got a big Lord fight here. Actually, not Free much. Not, <laughs> Omega not even going to try for it. Give it away to Brent Esports. Oh. They want to go for the fight instead. A lot of low members from Brent Esports means Super Marco has to back off. Carl TZ. Oh, my oh. God. He's doing oh, pretty good damage. Kladdor is in trouble. Snipes oh. from the Kelra. Snipes. Oh, the stun. And he will be just dashing away. Wins. Oh, my gosh. A guiding wind saves him, but Ryzen might be in trouble here. Oh. With Kelly oh. Kelly TZ. They're not done. Of Omega, uh -oh. and they want to go for more. Cal might have been bitten off too much more here than he could chew. Good damage from Few. There goes the bottom lane, and the mid lane rather, by Super Marco. And Few saving the young in is like, all right, you remind me of <laughs> another KTZ that I know very, very well, so I'm gonna help you out there. The veteran Few, one of the greats in the Philippines and in the sport of Mobile Legends, bang bang. Just say, um, keeping Kyle TZ alive and now Brenny Sports have find themselves in a lead for the first time this series, a big lead. Yeah, this is a massive lead here for Bren. The crowd is feeling it too. They're hyped up. And at this point, Bren in a good control of this game. But the question is, can they utilize this massive gold lead that they have right now? 6,000 up to this point, 11 minutes in the game. It's gonna be crucial, right? Biggest thing they can do with it is really try to find a pick off on Kelra if they can. But still, can be said, Super Marco, this guy has been farming up the majority of the game. He's doing exactly what you mentioned rock hard before when he's like, when you said, pick up the Claude, use that blazing duet, farm up. You don't have to play that Melissa. But here we go, Smart Omega trying to get the vision they need. They might take the information and look for a pick. Seriously, look at that. Good damage coming over from Omega members, even from a distance. But I'm really wondering what Skelter doing with the laser sights there. Yeah. It's not even using it for damage. Look at, look at the positioning of Ryzen, though. Oh, Ryzen once more. Look at this sneaky, sneaky boy. Finally uses the sniper rifle at the very end. Oh, Renzio not able to block him. Raises Rav there. Super Marco. Oh, oh, but he's down. will be denied by the critical hit from Kelra. We got a lot of flight stuff on the screen. <laughs> it's Chaknu. Look at Ryzen, Ryzen man. Chase instead. Ryzen at the back. He's waiting for Fuel. He's waiting for Ryzen. Ryzen. He knew. Oh, Fuel knew it, but it's he way too late. He pulls off the punch. And oh. there's the counter strike with a better air strike. Oh my goodness, Red Esports, they got game sets for days here. Few knew, few knew. He knew. Oh, He knew because his name is Few. It rhymes. Well, they're not done yet because oh, now the focus on Kyle TZ. Huge circle eagle here. He has to get out. can push off Kyle TZ, but no, not going to be working here. Oh, what? Lord coming up. <laughs> Kyle TZ is going back here. Eh? He can <laughs> sense it. He can sense his teammates coming back here. They want to go for Lord. They know there's a one man down here yeah. on Omega's side. Two seconds until Ryzen comes back. This could be a big 5v5 Lord fight here. Brand new sports. They're rushing to it. Be careful. Look at this. Half HP on the Lord. No retribution available. Pandora is flying on the back. He's looking for Kelra. Ah. Kyle TZ will go over and take that Lord for himself, though. And Ryzen just way too late to the party. No need for Dragon when you've got a Dragon. Brandy Sports, take the Lord without a problem. That was, I mean, a very quick decision to go ahead and start up that Lord, knowing that Ryzen was not up in time to really contest that fight, even though he joined at the end there, but still a great movement play coming out from Brent Esports. Let's take a look at the items here before that Lord marches down the bottom side. I want to look at the items here of E2 Max. He is behind in terms of the gold compared to Fuse Farsa, hence why he's doing more damage, but there is already a Divine Glaive on the side of Omega. So no big worries there, but they will want to have that Genius Wand as soon as possible because it will really help them. 
A lot of swords on the side of Omega. Plus 60 physical is what they're getting out of that. And there, a BOD for Ryzen. So there's a lot of burst damage on the side of Omega to potentially clear minion waves faster. Yeah, right now they're just gonna go ahead and take care of this Lord. They're holding on to the two turrets the best they can. They lost the bottom side, but here you go. Yeah, they're they're almost down. They're flying up. Pandora is looking for a target. Renzi was actually the one they choose here. Great health. Inhibitor turret will go down. Oh, Ooh. but a burst here coming in from the Omega squad. Like you guys mentioned, lots of good damage output from this squad right now. No one rising again. Still chasing up on the rest of Brand Esports. Rising out the back. He looks like oh. Super Marco. And a Super Marco. Oh. The what Duke. a fancy footwork on the BMI. Shaking and baking. He knew too. He knew. <laughs> he had a feeling. They uh, knew. Fred just knows, man. Man, and they're going to pull the conceal play. Chak knew, waiting there patiently. Oh, they completely Chak miss him. What, Chak knew? They got the information. He's a, again, Super Marco just knows. I don't know. They have, they have the feeling. This they is, got it. This is the pro player sense. Uh, hours and hours of training. It's kicking in. It's kicking in, bro. This oh, is what man. most of us don't have, and hence why we can't play like the pros. Exactly. Well... <laughs> Speak for yourselves. <laughs> oh, come on, man. No way. Oh, oh. I know your gourd is pretty good, but come on. <laughs> Top one global at one point. Right, anyway, Bren Esports <laughs> sitting pretty 6,000 gold ahead here. And it's Smart Omega trying to crawl back into this game. The thing is that we can't deny is that the damage is there for Smart Omega. But what they're having a hard time is, is dealing with somehow... Brand Esports knowing everything. Yeah, they got razor sharp teeth, but they can't sink it into their target. Yeah. And what I like what Brand Esports is doing as well is they're putting a lot of uh, attention in being able to crowd control Renjo. Renjo's uh, Fredrin here is actually the big X factor. The control and the burst damage he can deal with the Prazer's Wrath is game changers in team fights. Brand Esports have been respecting the hell out of that. They've been controlling Renjo. Ogren has been doing a good job interrupting potential of Prazer's Wraths, knocking up the knocking up the Fredrin into Max. Oh, it allows Black Shoes on out of the way there. They choose Chap Ogren for the way Dragon Target and Prazer's Wrath in the middle of everyone, but no, it will not stop the Brand Esports oh, squad. They're cool. looking for their target. Targets. They're going on a chase here. That's three down for they Omega. Endable. If they want to, it's endable. Yeah, it it's is endable. endable. Do they have yeah, the minion oh, the minions, though. The minions. Oh, man. It's only Kelra. It's only Ryzen. On the defense. So. They're going to focus on that last turn in the top side. Oh, no. What can they, they do? Oh, oh, no. Knockout. All right. It's a 4v2, but it's still pretty bad the here. Base. Omega could go out right That's away. It. And they oh. will be able to fail. No sleep happening for this matchup. It is a two to one. There is a saying in the Philippines that goes, Nayon, meron na tayong laban. In English, now we got a fight. Brand Esports will not go down without a fight. No sweep is going to happen. I was ready to translate it for you, man. <laughs> Feeling it right here, right in front of us is the Bren crowd. And oh man, did they get excited for that one. And it 